Hi YouTube, this is Shorty Girl T and today I'm coming at you with a 16 week pregnancy update. So pregnant and plus size is um, the video today. Um, let's see. It says as far as what's happening to your body. This week from the 16 weeks to 18 weeks your doctor may offer you maternal blood screening and mine is actually going to be Friday. So that's right on time. And basically do a triple marker, triple screen to check for your ECG levels um, in my blood. Um, test the baby for neural tube defects like spina bifida and Down syndrome. Um, and also says you may also start to feel your baby's movements this week. Thanks in part to the baby's hardening bones, this may feel like butterflies in your stomach or popcorn popping. It's known as quickening um, or like fluttering. So. Um, what's happening to the baby? The baby now measures 4.3 to 4.7 inches from crown to rough, and it's roughly the size of an avocado. Um, baby's muscles are now developing to the point that your baby can hold its head up in a straight line. Its facial muscles can display a variety of expressions, um, and I can do some expressions, so hope the baby picks up that. But, um, Council says your baby's nails are well formed and he or she is emptying out its bladder every 40 to 45 minutes. Um, the baby is also covered in lanugo from his or her ears and the ears have moved from neck to head. And depending on the baby's position, the doctor may be able to determine your baby's sex on ultrasound scan. For some parents, this is the most exciting moments of pregnancy. So hopefully, when I go in for my doctor's appointment, they are scheduled to do blood work on me. Um, now my doctor says they don't do a 16 week scan for gender, they do it at 20 weeks, which, you know, it's kind of, hopefully, you know, they may slip up and be like, oh, you're having a boy or a girl, because I can't wait another four weeks, like, I'm so, 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 so anxious to just know, like, so I can start buying stuff other than white and green, and I'm just, I'm just ready, am I team pink or team blue, so I can just let the family know, and I can start setting up stuff for baby shower and you know things like that like I understand that some people um want to be surprised but to me nowadays especially with the economy you kind of really need to I feel like I would need to know because um I really want to buy stuff I don't need and I want to be specific in things that I get and you know so on and so forth but you know with a boy or a girl, I'd be happy. Um, I kind of want a girl because then I could pass down like my purses and have mother daughter things and you know do the mother daughter thing that I did with my mother. You know, I was kind of a boy because if I have another baby, then they'll have an older brother. And I mean, there's benefits to both. But um, with baby getting bigger, it says you're supposed to be gaining weight. I actually over the last week haven't really had an appetite. Um, I've lost 10 pounds. I'm actually back to the weight that I started at before I got pregnant. So, my, and my doctor was mad. She's like, when I first went in, she was like, you, I only gained three pounds between my first appointment and my next appointment. I gained 10. So she was a little upset with me. She let it be known. And um, hopefully, when I go back Friday, there'll be a, a she'll notice that my weight has kind of like gone back to what it originally was. Um, I was in the hospital yesterday because I did have some spotting and they checked baby out, they checked my cervix and my placenta. Um, they're just saying sometimes, you know, before 22 weeks, with, you know, you could have some spotting if the, the placenta and the cervix are expanding and the baby's pressure or pushing down. So the baby was fine. In fact, the heart rate was 144 which is in the middle, they look, They said between 120 and 180 is what they like to see that, so it's 144, so it sends a pretty strong heartbeat for a baby this young, and, um, you know, I don't know, I just, <laughs> but, um, anyway, I did do my haul, my plus size haul was titled the Rainbow Payless Target, I think, <laughs> um, so this is one of the outfits I got from rainbow just a little blue dress and I do have like a little brown belt kind of tied right above my my bump there um, comes up knee length it's really comfortable 
and it's in a 1x so I've been trying to get clothes that can grow with me but also I will be able to transition either into a fall clothes for our, when baby comes baby's in October October 16th actually so I can transition to fall clothes and not really have to go into maternity wear you know with being plus size um, hopefully the breastfeeding does help me maintain my weight or lose my weight so um, with this outfit I could put leggings over it put a sweater over it and you know it'll be a fall outfit so that'd be really comfortable during my six weeks that I can uh, mess around with baby with and not be uncomfortable or feel still feel cute but not feel um you know real I guess frumpy um I did have some I was kind of weepy last week I was feeling really really unattractive like I was feeling like I don't know my eyebrows weren't done my hair wasn't done I wasn't wearing makeup I don't have makeup on right now but I just was feeling really like really low and you know, I was told that that's normal, and people tend, they go through things like that. Um, but I just felt, it felt really bad. Like, I felt like I couldn't come out of it, and, you know, my friend was like, just go shopping. Go buy you something new. If you feel pretty, go get your hair done. If you feel pretty, you'll, you know, if you look pretty, you'll feel pretty. So, I took her advice. Me and my best friend went, you know, I went her to get her hair done, and I got a sewing, and something that could last me, so I don't have to worry about doing my hair every two weeks. But by doing quick weeks and um, so far I think I'm coming out of it um, I still feel what else um, I don't have morning sickness but um, I had like I said I had no appetite the last week or the week before which probably contributed to a lot of my weight loss um, and I've been walking a lot more so I've been more active but I haven't been eating as much I've been eating like fruits and applesauce and um, smoothies, nothing really heavy, just gonna stick. So, but the baby likes, so I'm not gonna interrupt that. Um, but um, lately, like every so many days, like at night, I'll get nauseous or and I start for the fluttering. So I think I know either the baby's up or something is going on because it. I don't have morning sickness. I get sick around 6 p.m. to the night time. And as far as going to the bathroom, that's tapered off, thank God, because I was going back and it felt like every 20 minutes I had to go, and it was always like full, full bladder. And now I can actually go every so many hours, and or if I go, I don't feel like I'm about to burst. Um, I do go more often at night, so I'm thinking this might be one of <laughs> my baby might be kind of alive during the night. Um, but, um, ooh, sorry, computer. But other than that, um, it's going pretty good. I'm, like I said, 16 weeks, four more weeks will be halfway done. So it's moving pretty fast. Like the first four months went by pretty fast for me. Um, we'll just see how the next four months, you know, four and a half months go because I will be going through four and a half, five months ago because I will be doing this through the whole summer and fall so yikes Yee! and today it got to 91 degrees and i wanted to die like no air conditioner could get cool enough so um what else my skin has really my face has really cleared up and looking at the myths they say like if you're if you're having a girl your girls will steal your beauty if you're having a boy you'll have a, like a nice glow so maybe it's a boy <laughs> I don't know, but my, as you can see, the girls are really plump, plumping up there. They're kind of sitting like, um, but my skin itself is really dry, like, um, which could be why my face, because I have combination oily skin, so being that my skin seems to be drying out a lot could be contributing to why my skin hasn't, my face hasn't broken out, because I don't have any oil that normally would cause my skin to clog and break out going on. It's like dry, so I'm moisturizing it and it's just staying clear. But the rest of my body, I put lotion on and it's like, it just absorbs it so fast. So I'm constantly having to put chapstick on and lotion my body. So if anybody else out there is pregnant, experience that, please let me know what I can do because 
it's crazy. Like, I, I, I don't know what's going on. Like, it's sucking all the moisture out of my body. Um, I don't, let's see, do I have any craving right now? Oh, I really don't have any cravings. I really like fruit, though, like juicy fruits, like strawberries, watermelon, pineapple. But I was told that watermelon will make you swell. So I'm kind of trying to stay away from that. But anything with citrus will make you swell. I have orange juice. I've never liked orange juice. Like you couldn't get me to drink orange juice even for the cold. I couldn't do it. But now I wake up and I just want orange juice. And I will take it to the head. Just done. Um... In fact, one a couple of days this past weekend, I told um, my boyfriend, I was like, I want some orange juice. And him and my mother looked at me like, you want orange juice? But, hey, you know. Um, so, yeah, so far this week has been pretty good. I haven't really had any, excuse me, other issues other than, excuse me, um, indigestion and gas so far. It's kind of gross. Ooh. But, um. I am starting to enjoy that pregnancy. The first three months were really hard. Like, I really was always sick, tired, sleepy. I'm starting to get a little more energy. Um, so that's good. And I think the more energy I have, then I can walk more and try to keep the weight down. Um, because being plus size, it is dangerous to gain a lot of weight. And it's easy for you to gain a lot of weight. So I really don't want to do that. Um, but... Yeah, so I think that's it, and I'll probably come back with another update at 17 weeks next Tuesday or next Wednesday to try to keep in line with my progression, um, but that's it, so thank you guys for watching, rate, comment, subscribe, and I should have maybe an outfit of the day, you know, plus size pregnancy outfit of the day for you guys coming up here shortly, so thank you guys, I do see I have another subscriber, and um at five but you know you gotta start somewhere so um all those watching just click the subscribe button that's all you gotta do you have to watch me every day just click subscribe it's, it's gonna get better i promise so thank you guys if you have subscribed thank you for my watch my viewers so far 